Hello, welcome to Pathagonia. This is Jay Wong. Today, we're going to do a pr short presentation on ganglioneuroma, ganglioneuroblastoma, and neuroblastoma. Before we begin, here are my acknowledgments for all the factoids and information that I obtained. In the WHO 5th edition, there's a section within endocrine called adrenal medulla and extraadrenal paraganglia tumors. And they, in the introduction, divide it into infants who get neuroblastic tumors, mostly neuroblastoma and ganglioneuroblastomas, although ganglioneuromas are also present, and then adults who often get paragangliomas. Both arise from neural crest origin. And let's go back to our medical school days and talk about neural crest. Neural crest cells are present in and around the dorsal neural tube after closure. They are precursors to chromaffin cells of adrenal medulla, Schwann cells, sensory and autonomic ganglion neurons, melanocytes, and more, as you can see here. Of note, FOX2B is a neurocrest marker. And here is a schematic showing the neurotube and the dorsal aspect you can appreciate the neurocrest cells. And above that is the ectoderm. So neuroblastic tumors consist, according to the WHO 5th edition, of neuroblastoma, which are small round blue cells with no or limited Schwannian stroma, plus or minus Homer Wright rosettes. Nuclei often show salt and pepper appearance, and prognosis depends on the subtype of neuroblastoma, the age of the patient upon diagnosis, and mitosis carrierexis index, known as now MKI. Ganglioneuroblastoma, including intermixed and nodular. Intermixed is it's a peripheral neuroblastic tumor that is between neuroblastoma and ganglioneuroma in terms of maturation. And there's Schwannian stroma with scattered foci of neuroblastic cells. And it occurs in older children relative to neuroblastoma patients around four to seven years of age. And then you have ganglio, ganglioneuroblastoma nodular type. These have two different population slash two different clones of one population is a ganglioneuroblastoma intermixed or a ganglioneuroma. And the second is neuroblastoma. Lastly, you have a ganglioneuroma. This is the most mature of all neuroblastic tumors and you'll have dominant Schwannian stroma with maturing or mature ganglion cells. So let's talk about neuroblastoma. Epidemiology is the third most common child neoplasm after leukemia and brain tumor. The median age of diagnosis is 17.3 months. The location most common is the adrenal gland where it's over 40%, but other sites include abdomen around 25% and posterior mediastinum 15%. There are three subtypes and to help differentiate them, I like to think of it as think the neuro pill. If it's undifferentiated, it's subtype. It's this is rare. It has no neural pill and you do need, according to the WHO, IHC and molecular tests. Then there's the most common, which is poorly differentiated. And there's readily detectable neural pill with or without Homer Wright rosettes. And most nuclei have a salt and pepper appearance. Then there is differentiating where you have abundant neural pill with greater than or equal to 5% of tumor cells differentiating neuroblasts. And what is a differentiating neuroblast? These look akin to a ganglion cell with amphiphilic cytoplasm and enlarged nuclei with a single nucleolus. Again, prognosis depends on a combination of age, less than 18 months, 18 months to five years, or greater than five years, which is worse prognosis. Subtype, see above, as we mentioned, undifferentiated, poorly differentiated, and differentiating, and mitosis carrierexis index, where you have low, intermediate, high. And treatment depends on the prognosis, but includes observation, surgery, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and or immunotherapy. And here's a picture of neuroblastoma. Thank you, Web of Pathology, um, for these images. If you already haven't been, I would highly recommend this website. This is undifferentiated. You have fibrous septae, but you don't really see neuropil. It's just small, round, blue cells. Here, poorly differentiated, you do see the neuropil and the Homer Wright rosettes. And then differentiating, you see abundant neuropil and some differentiating neuroblasts here that kind of look like ganglion cells. Ganglioneuroblastoma intermixed type. This occurs in older children. Median age is four to seven years. The most common location is the abdominal cavity or retroperitoneum. You're less likely to have elevated urine catecholamines than those who have neuroblastoma. And histology is Schwannian stroma prominent with scattered foci differentiating neuroblastic cells. 
and you can get synaptophysin and S100, which will be positive in the neuro pill and Schwann cells. And the prognosis is favorable and treatment is resection. So here is a low power view of ganglion neuroblastoma intermixed type. So you have abundant Schwannian stroma and you have differentiating neuroblasts embedded within the Schwannian stroma, as you can see here. And some of these neuro differentiating neuroblasts, some of them have prominent nucleolus and some have like the salt and pepper chromatin, but they're all kind of embedded in this nested architecture of abundant Schwannian stroma. Ganglion neuroblastoma nodular type, this is uncommon. It represents around 8% of all peripheral neuroblastic tumors. It's often diagnosed in children greater than 18 months. In histology, you need to see a ganglion neuroblastoma, or sorry, I forgot to mention here, it could be a ganglion neuroblastoma or a ganglion neuroma and a neuroblastoma component. And that neuroblastoma component, that nodule may be separated by a fibrous capsule, a pushing border without capsule and infiltrative margin. And the prognosis, it depends. You want to look at the neuroblastic component and you look at how differentiated it is and the MKI. And the treatment, as you might suspect, it depends on the prognosis which depends on how differentiated and what the MKI is of the neuroblastic portion, but includes resection plus or minus chemotherapy radiation. And here is an image courtesy of the fifth edition where you see this neuroblastoma nodule here and you see this more mature element, either a ganglion neuroblastoma or a ganglion neuroma. And so you can see this neuroblastoma nodule histologically, again, courtesy of who fifth edition. And then lastly, ganglion neuroma. This is rare and incidence is unknown at this time, but it occurs in older children and adolescents affected and are rare incidental findings in adults. And location is any site where the sympathetic nervous system is. So there are potentially many locations where you can find ganglion neuromas. It is the most mature peripheral neuroblastic tumors. You'll have abundant Schwannian stroma with mature maturing ganglion cells. And the ganglion cells may be single or multinucleated. And there are subtypes. There's a mature subtype and maturing subtype. Mature is where every ganglion cell is mature. And as you might suspect, maturing is where you have some minor population of maturing ganglion cells or differentiating neuroblasts, but not forming microscopic nests. Otherwise, you want to think about your intermixed ganglion neuroblastoma. Uh, prognosis is excellent. Treatment is resection. But keep in the back of your mind, on biopsy, they may have sampled just the mature section of a nodular ganglion neuroblastoma and not the neuroblastoma nodule itself. So a disclaimer can include favorable histology based on review of limited material, as per WHO 5th edition. So here is ganglion neuroma. We don't see that neuroblastoma element. We see some white parenchyma with glistening kind of nodular structure. And here, microscopically, we see abundant, abundant Schwannian stroma. We see ganglion cells, but they're not forming nests. And they have that amphiphilic cytoplasm of central to eccentric nucleus with a prominent nucleolus. Thank you. Um, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe because it'll allow us to make more videos. And uh, we'll see you on our next episode.